Thank you very much. At this fight. Your Excellency, sir, if the issues that we discovered were just a specific location in the country, the census would not have been necessary. We would have just gone straight to that part of the country and we enumerate and we will be fine. But the issues that spread across and this is what we keep explaining about type 3 localities. These are localities that are spread across the rural areas, which you will need to put them together and form an immigration area. So if yesterday I presented the parliament, and then everyone saw it, that okay, yes, there is a need for this to happen. Because it's spread across the country. And now, we said, in 2018-2019, we were discussing this and also started involving the World Bank. So well, we have seen this, and World Bank, you are interested in supporting the national statistical system to strengthen it. But we cannot go forward if the basis that we are coming from is not solid enough for us to be able to understand the issues. And we convinced the bank, and the bank agreed Yes, there was a justification for us to do this. And this is why the bank has been with us until recently, very recently, until the 7th of December, the residency. So we are grateful to the bank for the, the support. We are now capacitated and we feel sad that after all the support the bank has given us, and the bank has made us strong as we are today to start this, then we would have loved to be with them to move forward. But fortunately, there are all the partners who have been with us here today. I want to be grateful to my deputy, Mr. Abitoni, and the National Census Coordinator, who is here with us. We have also our IT specialist, who is the, the director of data science. Mm -hmm. We have one of the best IT infrastructure today, probably I would say in Africa, because as is recent, we have the servers, we have everything that you need to do this work that we are supposed to do today. And we have our communications man, we have our national our census program manager, and we have our experts here. And these are three women to who we have trained. They are capable, and they have also trained 15,000 um, Sierra Unions. So this midterm census that we are doing and starting with you today, Excellency, will leave behind the capacity for our own youth, our own compatriots, to be able to do this beyond the sense, to be able to do this in other areas. And that is really very key. We are grateful to the government of Sweden, for Excellency, and to also start with the Minister of Justice today, the Minister of Finance, the Chief Minister, and every other minister there who have really given support to, to this process. Your Excellency, this is a previous census, and we are convinced that it has to be. We started with locality verification. We went to the primary chiefs, the section chiefs. We said, well, we, this is the list that we have. We want you to confirm whether what we can go for it. They sign. Find the process, yes, and I, see, I found my teacher when I was in uh, form two. He taught me mathematics, and he's a primary chief. The chairman of uh, the Council of Parliament in Kenya. So that's the process we do. So we do, but now we went after that with the latest technology you can find, with satellite imagery, and then we did the cartographic mapping of this country. We saw, of course, the, the list of the localities that the chiefs identified, and we saw other areas because we have a bird's eye view of everything in this country today. And then we did the cartographic map with no issues. I want to see this opportunity excellence to find the people of Syria across all the chief guns 
they allowed us to go there. There were no issues at all, so we completed that After that, the excellency, we trained again our producer work. We cannot be doing this for the first time without having to do a thorough pilot. We did a pilot, we trained 500 students there to use of the technology, and then we we sent them, we selected some of those, the best among those, then we did the pilot census. Why are we here today? The pilot census was also very successful across the country. No issues at all. From the north, east, south, and west, the pilot was. We selected the CEAs <coughs> based on criteria that was set by UNFPA and the World Bank, and we went to the field. So we learned the goods, the ugly things, and whatever, to advise our way forward. And so this is exactly why we are here today, confident that we are ready to do this. And after that pilot, we have also completed another training of 15,000 enumerators. I call them all enumerators because as far as such today, it's about your capacity, it's about your commitment to the world. And they have to take a test, and the, the, the introduction of the uh, digital technology. Everyone took that test, and they got their grades. Yeah. We did not mark those tests for, for them. They marked the test themselves. So the best among those works, now have supervisors. And the training also, the excellence, was done in all district headquarters towns. And I can tell you that I must thank the people of Sierra that we have any issues as well. So it means that if we could have done this to that extent, to have really trained 15,000 enumerators and supervisors, and we've put together a, a team of data quality monitors, including our staff, who are now spread all over the district, we are ready to do this. We are ready to move forward. As I said earlier on, as I speak also, we have consultants. Two consultants came on the, on the 8th from Ethiopia. The UN Economic Commission of Africa is supporting us fully. And we have the Nigerian consultants, the Ghanaian consultants, the Ethiopian consultants. These are Africans who are here. And we are encouraging them to transfer the knowledge to our own Syrian companies. Your Excellency, the training was done. The pilot was assessed in my office by UNFPA and uh, the World Bank colleagues. It was assessed. So we were surprised, Your Excellency, to see that some of the reasons for the World Bank were really um, withdrawn included some of these things. And we were surprised. We have no idea what would have led to this. But I want to assure you, I want to really thank your involvement in all of this that the bank has made us really ready to do this work. Before I close, Your Excellency, I want to thank your involvement as well. We have colleagues in Kenya. We have 20,000 tablets and 20,000 power banks in this country today. And this, our generators have done. We could see how the President of Kenya was really proud to give this uh, tablets to us. I think that is the spirit of South South cooperation. And I can tell, I think I have to tell the public that at some point you have to call your people, your president, your friend and brother, so that this thing will be done. This is where we are, and uh, again, I want to stress here the excellency that we form committees, census committees, technical committee, uh, advisory committee, and the police committee. The, the, Advisory Committee, all political parties attended, even the recent one that we had, APC, NGC, they were all very strong representatives from the country. from APC, Dr. Dennis Bright from NGC, and everyone, even if we did not agree, but they attended, and right at that itself. So, when we say this is the people's census, it is indeed the people's census. We don't always need to agree with everything. But what, at the end of it, what we started in 2018 has come here today to start the main operation. <coughs> and we thank God for that. 
God should continue to bless you and bless the people of this country. And we will encourage everyone to be down. Don't leave your household to go to us. We are coming to you. And as we are demonstrating here today, that's exactly what we will do. Thank you so much. Minister, Chairman of Council. That's my team. And uh, now I hand you over to uh, my technical team to start the process. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So, let me say a few well, words yes. Yes. <laughs> before, you get, before you count me. Uh, thank you very much. I think I should use this opportunity to thank Statistics Radio for the preparation. I think it is comprehensive. I've been involved in it. And at several points when you've had challenges, you would come back to me. Like the point in instance was when you, um, you decided to do it digitally and uh, we did not have, we could not buy that number just for one um, uh, 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 census. And I had to call my colleague in, in Kenya and he graciously and willingly accepted to provide us these um, tablets and the power banks you spoke about. Um, I have followed all the, 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 the stages, and uh, you've rightly, comprehensively, too, explained how you have gone about the preparation, right from the village or town or, or chiefdom levels. So I want to use this opportunity to thank all of you and to say that I'm very proud of the team, and this is what we are talking about, human capital development. It is not always that we should resort to politics. And as you can see, you've done the preparation with the support and collaboration of a lot of actors around the country, in the villages, in the towns, in the cities, which means you have the support. As I've always said, it is us, the politicians, who, do, who, are, who are impeding the development of this country. This is a simple process. It has been done before, and you have upgraded your skills, and you want to do it again. And, and like you said, you substantiated with, with, with the support of others why you want to do the mid, uh, mid-term census. So if no one is afraid of what they have done in the past, they should not be worried about what the outcome of this, uh, of this um, census is going to be. You've counted before. Let me count again. Why are you worried about what is going to be the result of my own counting when we have a professional body that has gone through all the stages and is prepared? We should give you the chance. And I want to appeal to Sierra Leoneans around the country. This is a very important process. I hear people talk a lot about data today when they are on the radio. Where does the data come from for everything that we do? It is not just about elections. Statistics provides the primary data for all the calculations, for all our for, for, uh, policy formulation, for everything that we do. This is the source. This is where you go. I want this data set. You will know now how you are going to use it. But if we don't have one, or we, want, we have one that is erroneous, then all our calculations are wrong from the start. So I want to encourage you and all Surelinians that this is an important process. We should come out and be counted. And for me, it's a pride and a duty, and I'm ready to be counted. Thank you. Also, you're about to acquire the serial number of the ID. Click, click, proceed. Click, proceed. Click. 
now it's in telling us that one new frame fetched. Fed buildings, Forge, EA, locality, free time, locality count because it's just in free time one, you have the number of household residents, estimated buildings, and all. So at this point, we exit. So you see, we have our location and the location of estimation launch. Here is how it is. EA meaning an enemy. EF 0041717C. That's So, presidential launch. Okay. So, I'll hand over to the We are not going to do this for every hour. As we said, symbolic. But we want the. Like he has tied this to this delegation. Although the meet population and how the census, I will take the term small for let me go. Because this is going to be a barrier, and therefore. So this is not residential. No, no. This house is 89 number. And it's not this country. But I know So um, it's internet based later on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now I don't get the GPS reading. What's in that? What's in that? We are asked. Yes. Yes. Forget for call. So total now not 10. I agree. For feed the people and from outside. Duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody has floating population. Also, what is that you get to? Cool. 12 minutes. In completed years, you can tell me your age. You know, we know your day, we get your day, we get events. The years are for independence. Yes. Private. Mm -hmm. I mean, rather. Right